This video is going to be about intracellular receptors. So intracellular receptors are going to be located either in the cytoplasm or in the nucleus of the cell. And so things that are going to be able to bind to these receptors are going to have to be either hydrophobic molecules, such as uh, hormones or uh, our thyroid hormones, for example, because they can diffuse through the plasma membrane since they are hydrophobic. Also, molecules that are small enough to be able to fit through the membrane can do the same thing. So an example of a molecule like that would be uh, nitrous oxide, which is just NO. So moving on to what this pathway is going to look like generally. So we'll have either our hydrophobic uh, ligand or our molecule that's small enough to fit through the plasma membrane. So we'll go through and bind to our intracellular receptor. So once it binds to this intracellular receptor, we're going to make a, if it's a hormone, for example, a hormone receptor complex. So once we form this hormone receptor complex, we're not done yet. So now this whole complex will translocate to the nucleus and bind to particular genes on our DNA. So when they do that, they're able to act as a transcription factor that will help to uh, regulate the transcription of particular genes. And so that will change our protein expression and eventually downstream that is gonna change uh, the behavior of our cell and what our cell is able to do. So just to review, we'll have our molecule that will diffuse through the plasma membrane um, and bind to an intracellular receptor to form a hormone receptor complex, which will then translocate into the nucleus and bind to particular genes and act as a transcription factor to eventually alter protein expression and uh, cell behavior. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.